which term gives the horizontal length of one cycle of a periodic function? Well, let's go through these one by one and talk about what they mean. Let's start with amplitude. All right, so a periodic function is a function that repeats itself over and over again. Amplitude is the distance that the function rises and falls above and below the midline. So this distance right here would be the amplitude. Okay, and that would be the exact same as this distance right here. Now, the period, the period is the length of one cycle of the function. So, looking at this function, it starts at the midline, and it goes up, it comes down, and it comes back. This would be one cycle of the function. So this length right here, if I were to cut it, this length right here would be the period. Whoops, spelling it wrong. Okay, the length of one cycle of the function. So of course, that's the answer to the question right there. Which term gives the horizontal length of one cycle of a periodic function? Um, well, that's the period. So uh, I'm claiming that this is the answer. Let's go ahead and check it. All right, check mark means we're right. Um, let's follow through and talk about these other two things. The frequency is the number of cycles in a given period of time. All right, so this would be uh, the number of cycles per unit of time. Okay, like cycles per second would be frequency. The phase shift is um, a horizontal shift. Okay, compared to the parent function. But the answer is period.